In part 1, we calculated the area of triangular nose of the plane. Now, let's calculate the area of the remaining parts. Now, let us move to the wings. If you see, the wings on the either side of the nose are same or similar. And they are right triangles with base equal to 1.5 cm and height is 6 cm. Area of such two triangles is twice of half of base multiplied by height as they are right triangles. Now here this is equal to 2 multiplied by half multiplied by base which is 1.5 multiplied by height which is equal to 6. 2 and 2 cancel each other and we get 1.5 multiplied by 6 which is equal to 9.0 square centimeter. Now let us consider this quadrilateral body and it is a rectangle. So length here is 6.5 centimeter and breadth is 1 centimeter. So the area is length multiplied by breadth which becomes 6.5 multiplied by 1 which is equal to 6.5 square centimeters. Now finally coming to the tail part. If you observe which type of quadrilateral it is? It's a trapezium because it has only two sides which are parallel, the other two are not. We already know the area of trapezium. What is it? It is equal to half of the sum of the two parallel sides multiplied by height or the perpendicular. But here we don't know what's the height. How do we calculate it? Let's draw a perpendicular on CD from A. Now AE is the height of the trapezium and triangle AED is a right triangle. AB is equal to 1 cm, CD equal to 2 cm, EF is also equal to 1 cm. So the difference between CD and EF is 1 cm which means DE and FC together is equal to 1 cm. So we say each DE and FC are equal to 0.5 cm each. ADE is a right triangle. So using Pythagoras theorem we get AD square is equal to AE square plus ED square. So we get AE square is equal to DA square minus ED square. So AE is equal to square root of 1 square minus 0 0.5 square. This is equal to square root of 1 minus 0 0.25. That is, it is equal to square root of 0 0.75. 0 0.75 is not a perfect square. So we can find the square root value till 3 to 4 decimal places and that would be sufficient for us. Square root of 0 0.75 is equal to 0 0.866 centimeter, approximately equal to 0 0.87 centimeter. Now we can calculate the area of trapezium. So area of trapezium is equal to 2 plus 1 by 2 that is half of the sum of the two parallel sides multiplied by 0 0.87 as this is the height of the trapezium. So this becomes equal to 3 by 2 multiplied by 0 0.87 which is equal to 1.5 multiplied by 0 0.87. This is equal to 1.305 or you can say 1.3 square centimeter approximately. We need to add the area of all the parts to get the final area. 
So this is equal to 2.5 square centimeter that is the area of the nose triangular in shape. The two side wings which are right triangles and with area 4.5 square centimeter. So we will add 9 square centimeter. The center rectangle is 6.5 square centimeter and the tail which is a trapezium is 1.3 square centimeter. So this becomes equal to 19.3 square centimeter approximately. So that is how the total area of this plane is calculated. Though the problem might have seemed very hard initially but we just divided into parts and conquered. So in real life we often come across many 2D shapes or 2D surfaces which are a combination of many basic shapes like this plane. In such cases we just need to break them into basic shapes to find their area.